It is an honor to be part of this memorable celebration. The Inter-American Institute of Human Rights was established in July 1980, and the Regional Car Caribbean Human Rights Network was launched in 1987. At the time of its launch, the Institute immediately initiated contact and started a formal relationship with the network. This commenced years of collaboration on human rights issues relevant to the Caribbean. A notable success of the cooperation was the increase in participation of Caribbean NGOs and civil servants in the Institute's well-regarded annual human rights training program. Jamaica, Antigua and Barbuda, and St. Lucia are currently very active both in the Association of Electoral Bodies for Central America and the Caribbean and in the Union of Electoral Bodies of the Americas. The Electoral and Advisory Promotion Center, located at the Institute, is the executive secretariat of these two electoral, electoral bodies. The Institute was invited to monitor elections in Antigua and Barbuda in 2014, and it is anticipated that collaboration in this area would be increased in our region, particularly at a time when general elections is becoming contentious, as evident in the March 2nd elections in Guyana and the August 10th elections in Trinidad and Tobago. The Institute is also cooperating with the Caribbean in areas of capacity building, having conducted training for the Caribbean Ombudsman Association and for St. Kitts, Nevis, and Jamaica on human rights education and the importance of ratifying the Protocol of San Salvador that focuses on economic, social, and cultural rights. In addition, the Institute is supporting ongoing research on the criminalization of same-sex relations in the region. It is clear that more capacity building needs to be undertaken to educate and strengthen regional organizations to be more effective. It is understood that the Institute will need to prioritize funding for this, as it has a critical role to play in informing Caribbean citizens of the workings of the inter-American system in the protection of their rights and in enforcing the importance of lobbying national governments to ratify relevant treaties. Accessibility and application of the inter-American system will provide appropriate levels of scrutiny and support that is likely to encourage more decisive action by governments to safeguard and protect the rights of its citizens. Caribbean organizations look forward to a closer collaboration with the Institute in the coming years. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate the Institute for its contribution to the advancement of human rights in the region over the past 40 years. Thank you.